perfect combination of cylinder and rectangular block okay so to construct here first we need to take one horizontal line as a reference from this reference point i'll draw one line that is line with an angle of 30 degree so here i'll take 60 mm okay and angle will take 30 degree because in isometric we should use angle 30 degree okay first i'll be constructing an rectangular block okay <clears throat> so here uh, the rectangle block having base heads 30 30 mm 30 degree and vertical head is 60 mm angle is 90 degree again length is 30 angle is minus 150 and then vertically downward you join with a length of 60 mm okay now we have to give the width here so width of 30 mm at an angle of 150 degree okay so the same line i am going to uh, transfer it using move command creates a copy then place it like this so it will reduce your effort okay now complete it so the rectangle block will be over okay now we have to draw the cylinder so cylinder it is here exactly at the center of the block so the total length it is 60 means so we need to subtract by 15 15 mm so just see so watch the video till the end you can understand so vertically downward by 15 mm i'm coming downward 15 90 degree and then 30 mm with an angle of 150 again here now the length you require for the box it is 30 okay again horizontally so this is the box we require to construct the ellipse here so from this corner point to the midpoint okay again from this corner point to midpoint okay from this corner point to midpoint okay from the corner point to the midpoint you can select the line so now using for arc by center method that is using arc by center method so here we will be constructing an arc here to construct the ellipse taking this length draw an arc same way from here to here take this length draw an arc now for the third point okay take this as a reference point taking this length draw an arc okay and same way here also take this length and draw an arc so we have completed an ellipse here same way we need to construct another ellipse at a distance of 60 mm for that uh, as a reference uh, <clears throat> i'll be considering a length of 60 mm and then another box of uh, ellipse i'll construct okay for a reference i'll be taking this length so length of 60 angle minus 150 <coughs> because uh, we should be extruding at a distance of 60 mm right that's why i'm considering this length length of 60 angle minus 150 okay from all the four corners of the box i'll be extending the same length 60 mm and angle is minus 150 okay Okay, now here we got the endpoints. Here we need to construct a box here. 
okay subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications and share to your friends and classmates so that they can be benefited so it is important guys you should go through this all this model question paper there may be chance you can get the same questions for the exam because uh, the question paper it is coming from the vtu so make sure you go through all the problems because we don't know which problems may be coming for the exam okay in each model we have 50 different questions okay just go through my videos wherein i have explained the problems with all concept with less time okay guys make use of the videos and during the exam time it is very helpful that you can revise this subject using my videos okay because you may be forgetting all the concept because uh, the practical exam it is there after one month okay so draw a diagonal line okay now join from this end to this end okay in join from this end to this end okay so now we need to make these lines as thick lines okay so rectangle block also will make thick by selecting all the edges Thank you all. Thank you for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications. And share to your friends and classmates so that they can be benefited.